want to talk to you like father to his children about marriage. It's not someone. This is talking father to children. Listen to me very carefully. My beloved daughters, don't marry a man who has no job. Before God gave Adam Eve, he gave him a job. He said, this is the garden. Keep it. So those who come to you and say, you say Sister, let us see the Lord. You are going to be the star in my firmament. All right, sir. Before I become the star in your firmament, what is your job? If he hasn't got steady income, he hasn't got a job, don't marry him. Go and get a job first. Man is to provide for the house, not the other way around. If he has no income, he should not marry. Those who would not work should not eat. And if they can't eat, they can't even marry. Amen. Let me talk to my boys. <laughs> uh, don't marry Delilah. Because Delilah can stop something. What does that mean? Don't marry for beauty's sake. The Bible is clear. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30. Proverbs 31 verse 30 said, Beauty is vain. Favor is deceitful. That's beautiful, angelic something. She's going to grow old. Everybody grows old. That's number one. Don't ever dare marry outside the church. I want to tell you point blank that it is better to be single than to be married to the devil. Don't ever think that you can marry somebody and then change the fellow. If the fellow does not change before you marry, it's a settled matter. Ah, no problem. I am standing on the rock of ages. Uh, and that brother, that sister, I, I know she's still in the married clay of sin. I will pull him up. He will pull you down. Because you see that brother? He's tall, lanky, handsome, rich, and you jump for him. Goliath was tall. He lost his head. King Saul was lanky. He lost his crown. Don't marry a fool. His externals doesn't matter. His wealth is of no account. If he's not a true child of God, don't be associated with them. The word of God is clear. Do not be unequally you together with unbelief. And if somebody pretends that he's a Christian, he's following you to church because he's uh, thinking that he will get you. All you need to do is watch. The Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them, not by their talk. When a brother comes to you and he says, hey, 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 I've never seen anybody like you before. When I saw you, I think the sun is shining. Ah. Ask him, do you believe in holiness? If he says no, if he says no human being can be perfect, that we are all flesh. Only God is perfect. The moment you hear that, run. So don't be childish. Don't think we don't know what we are doing. We are no fools. You cannot be like everybody else and be an example. An example is always someone who is different from all others that others will copy. Not somebody who copies others. 
the parents of Samson told him that there are not women of your own people. For you to go outside this fold to go and bring a devil from somewhere else when you are not crazy. Don't marry a girl simply because she can sing. Singing is wonderful. God loves worshippers. But the devil used to be the choir master in heaven. But in some choir, there are some fallen angels. They can sing like nobody's business. But they are equally yoked with the devil. Who should I marry then, daddy? Marry a prayer warrior. There are those that I have advised before. We ignored my advice. Now they come to me and they say, you want us. Don't marry a girl who is lazy. You pay their family a surprise visit and you see the way she is. If she's lazy when she's a girl, how is she going to cope when she's married and have children? How will she cope? Don't marry a girl who cannot cook. You want to eat food in your own house. A girl who cannot cook will not be a good wife. Do I hear somebody say amen? Don't marry a girl who is worldly. A girl who will not dress right. A girl who is always after jewelry. If you do, you have gotten something you will worship for the rest of your life. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. This of us who are reason we, can, we are to focus on things above, not on things beneath. I'm believing God that when you marry, you will marry the right person. So the first thing a man needs is not a woman. Are you listening to me, brothers? True love meets the needs of the loved. That's why God did everything for you.